everybody, Allison Pillow here with Pure Energy Wellness. Today I'm going to show you a really great core exercise. This is what I do with a lot of my clients in the gym, but because we're in quarantine right now, we're doing everything at home, I thought I'd show you a version that you could do at home of this more, a little bit more advanced core exercise, which is really going to force you to get into the lower abdominal a little bit more, the glutes, as well as um, it's going to help you with a pel your pelvic tilt. So we're gonna really focus on this one on keeping the pelvis down and not letting it tilt forward when we're in this position. So keep that in mind. So if you feel like your back is arching and your pelvis is tilting forward, then um, you may want to go down on the intensity a little bit because that just may be that you're not able to hold the load uh, that we're going to be doing today because it is a more advanced exercise but I find it to be really effective at feeling into your core very quickly and learning how to stabilize as well. This really translates into great running strength and stabilization of the hips when you're running which I see a lot of people doing right now so I think this can be helpful as well just for about anything else you do powerlifting, weightlifting, anything, any of the exercises that you're going to be doing at home, this will really, really reinforce uh, that strength in the hips and the core and get you to feel into that a little bit more. So let's get started. Okay, so I have some bands. I have a set of bands here that I like to use. And what I want you to find here, if you have a set, find your um, anywhere from light to medium here. This is one, a light one. I'm going to start with this one. This is extra light, and it just depends on what set you have, uh, which dic dictates the color that is the, uh, the resistance that you're going to get. So this, for this one, of course, blue is going to be your lightest. Uh, for a lot of bands, and especially in physical therapy, usually yellow is the lightest, but with some of these companies are doing different colors, which makes it a little bit, bit confusing, but that's okay. It'll usually say it on there. So. What we're gonna do today, uh, first is we're gonna use our sofa here. If you have a little space under the sofa, it's a really great opportunity to use it for certain exercises um, in your home. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna use this as your anchor. You're gonna use the sofa as the anchor. Bring the hands underneath the sofa, elbows are inward, and then you're gonna drop down into your core right here. And then from here, we're going to create a lot of resistance here by placing this around the feet. We're going to bend the knees, and this is going to really force you to keep that core down, keep the felt pelvis tilted back a slight bit as we extend the, arm, the leg. And your anchor is your hand, so that's going to keep your upper, upper core down. And so the challenge here is really keeping all of this in place as we extend the leg out. So you're going to flex those feet and extend this leg. You're squeezing the glute here, pulling down through the core here, not letting that pelvis tip forward and holding this. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. You really want to flex those feet and extend out through that heel. And then you're pulling up in the knee on this side to help counterbalance that and pressing your hands into the sofa. And we're going to do about five on each side and just hold it for a second so we can feel into that into that core activation. We'll extend through that heel, drop down in here, make sure you're not losing it. It's a very challenging exercise, so if this is too much, you can try this without the band. You wanna do about five on each side. We're gonna think of lengthening through that heel as you come through, squeezing the glute, that'll help reinforce the core engagement. And again, five on each side here. And you really only need, whew, and you really only need about one to two sets of that one. And that's a great one to get everything activated and stabilized, or your stabilizer muscles kicking in and on before you do a run, before you do your workout at home. If you have any questions about that, feel free to comment below. I'd love it if you like, uh, give me a big like on this video and subscribe to my channel. All right, take care everybody. See you soon.